I think <laughs> you need prayers, you need a rosary, you need that holy water. <laughs> you need a whole lot because right now women have their way. Remember when mm -hmm. I initially stated I said what I said? Who gonna step up to a woman and tell her peel peel off her goofy and them goofy, them goofy eyebrows and tell her stop, you know, putting that bleach on her skin to lighten her, take off them freaking um those talent hooks that you got on there. Let's let's line yeah. up 10 women and do and do some homework and see how successful we are. Yeah, so I think one thing, Marcus, before you go, I just want everybody to kind of take this into consideration. Um, one thing I always say is that everybody is the protagonist in their own movie, right? The movie that they call life, they are always the protagonist. So a lot of these people don't think, I would say most people, right? I, I would venture to say most people don't think that they're doing anything the wrong way, right? So they, they are trying to do what they think is right in their mind. At least they try to. So it, most people don't go out with any malicious intent like, oh, hell no, I'm about to uh, make all of these dudes mad as hell. I'm going to make sure that I am absolutely undateable. I'm going to wear nails and stuff that I know they hate. I'm going to wear the worst hair possible. No, I'm going some to deliberately do, get out of shape. You, I don't think it's, I mean, that's, that's the valid opinion. Uh, but I, to me, I really don't think so, but I cut you off Marcus. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you rock, but I just wanted to, you to kind of take that into consideration when you answer. Um, so I think the best strategy is for men to completely ignore the women they don't want, like treat them the same way you would treat another, like, like a non-sexual person, just ignore their ass when they get to acting crazy. Okay, and then just get away from them. Like when just walk out on them. Just don't deal with that shit. You know, like if you ask somebody, like just date the people who fit into the, the spectrum of whatever it is that you like, as long as you can actually date them. You gotta be realistic with yourself if you can get the types of women you want to date. But if you can, then at that point you can say, Hey, I, I don't have to deal with you acting like this. And if every man walk away from them, they're gonna eventually be like, All right, what is it? What well, why are people just leaving me? And then, they, and then at that point, you can actually get somebody to answer when they're searching for it, or they can ask one of their girlfriends that actually has a man, and she can be like, "My, I, I asked my one time, what what would you recommend for women that want to keep a man? She's like, they just got to listen. Listen and implement. It's simple. It's not real hard. But they got to be in a space where they want to listen. So, yeah, I, I, I was going to say, to Marcus's point, the men are already doing it. These, yeah, women these, these men yeah. are complaining. These women are complaining left and right that they're being ignored right now, left and right. They make what video they upon video upon video upon video of, of men not talking to them, men not approaching them, men not dealing with them. Uh, I, I know me and Viz had got into it, uh, and I got into it with a few fellas on the on the on, on the show, and in the uh, King Talk group about men not approaching and all of that. And I want to kind of walk some of that back. But to those to y'all to those women, Marcus is absolutely right, and I think men are walking in the right direction in that aspect. They are leaving them alone, and they and what they're doing is they're having some of them, a lot of them are coming having a come to Jesus moment. Like it's it's gonna take them acknowledging what's happening, and once they get past shaming the men for walking away from them, eventually they're gonna have they're gonna have they come to Jesus moment. And be like okay. We can sit here and complain all day till we blow in the face about these men not dealing with us. But now we have to really truly ask ourselves, what are we doing to make these men not deal with us? The same way that us as men had to have our come to Jesus moment mm. in the, the early the eighties and the nineties when we realized that our women was calling us scrubs and dog shit and we ain't doing shit and bad baby daddies and and all of that. We had our come to Jesus moment, and as you started to notice, men started taking accountability. You started to see more, uh, more. Uh, Active fathers and and you're seeing a whole lot of men changing today and trying to become the men that they fathers weren't. So yeah. it's just so gonna Sweeney, take. What great what great would you give us as men as far as our comeback right after we've heard the complaints and we took action? What grade would you give us? If, if to talk specifically about the things within our control, I give us a B minus B B B minus. We doing all right. Are we perfect? No, because I would think that per perfection comes with uh uh generational wealth and, and, and all of that. And I don't think we're quite there yet. 
We right. ain't there because uh, we know right now black folks are, are about to lose most uh our wealth is gonna fall to zero dollars by 2050 something. So we not in that aspect, but I think that that calls for a whole nother. There's a whole lot of other shit that got to go into that. But yeah. as far as us getting up and at least getting our asses up and going to work and trying to take care of our kids and take care of the people around us, we around a. I say we around a B. Hey, Man, but, okay. but Sweeney, real quick to 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 that point that you that that we did disagree on. Um, the the only thing, the biggest part that that bothered me was us making that normal you know what i'm saying like i, mm-hmm. I was I, I wasn't for us saying that okay this is normal this is okay because it's not because even if you do come across that that female that fits that 30 percent and, and you're so caught up in the habit of not approaching women because you're scared of x y and z that that was the soft part you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying that, that's that to me that that's what makes you a weaker male because now you just got so caught up in being content with not approaching women that a woman that you actually deem that may be a fit for you you don't even have the balls to even approach them you know but, what i'm saying and to me that that's some weak ass shit. but you know what though it also manifests is manifesting itself in other areas not just in dating but if you noticed um they were talking about how men and the workplace stopped mentoring women alone and all of that stuff and how that came out of the uh the fear of the me too movement and stuff like that and i do believe that that all is given like all of this transpiring at once because like i said i think the pendulum is swinging back the other way we saw it swing one way and swinging back the other way and i think what we're having is a series of overcorrections in society something goes wrong we overcorrect and then the pendulum has to swing back the other way and i'm thinking that after a while women will start to have that come to jesus moment where they like okay maybe we do have some shit we got to work on now, we might not get the whole hershey bar but we might get a hershey kiss out the deal <laughs> i think that pendulum definitely swinging if you think about like we was in a what they call a single mother crisis now they complaining and trying to stop uh baby deletions and in some states trying to prevent birth control i know that's not specifically us but that pendulum swung one way and now we're swinging back the other way i think we're not even replacing each other at the same rate like no yeah so what, what did y'all say uh, the solution was I, I think y'all came up with one maybe i don't know i may have missed it it was uh you know just, the hyenas yeah so your your attention is your currency and then just pay your currency to people who deserve it and keep your money keep your currency in your pocket for people who don't deserve it that means stop liking pigs just because i ass fat that means stop paying yeah, all this that extra I, I completely stop, agree with that stop, stop subscribing uh, to the only fans i'm a c student so uh y'all might have to help me with this one well the the topic is undated me using my brains the little brains that i do have with would align solution with the contrary. I mean, not the contrary, the opposite of undateable. How do we make women dateable would be a valid solution. Yeah. But simply ignoring them and walking away. I don't, and I'm not trying to attack anybody's point of view. I think it was a good, good, uh, well, good option for so, somebody. But know. the thing is, to your, to your point, me, dog, the thing is, you can't make women do a damn thing. That's, I didn't say you, make them do no, it. No, no, I know, but that's what I'm saying is that. It's going to require them to sit back and understand the whole reason why ignoring them is a solution is because eventually they have to they have to ask themselves the question, why are these men not wanting me? Well, and the thing, and only they can. And then at that point, because the thing is, have men, we've been talking for damn near three years now. They know what we want. It's not a secret. We ain't been. Right. It's not a secret what we want. We also so, gotta praise the people who do the thing we want. Fair. Yeah. fair. You know, you have to re- provide them with positive reinforcement, and then that's attention. The negative reinforcement would be for that behavior, you get no attention. And if that's what you want, and move forward. 